the waveform in real time. control so I can work in an analog type fashion, but I can zoom further. So here's the filter settings that are on the main page, but if I zoom in with the icon, I can go deeper and really get into the cool, uh, more advanced features, because I have dual filters here. I can select any filters, you know, on either side. I can have it pre, for the game pre or post. I can do it in series or parallel. And so you have all these cool options, and it's just, you don't have to see that all the time. You can see just a basic cutoff and resonance, uh, but it's but it's all there for you. So it's it's a really really neat system. So uh, amazing synthesizer. Let's take uh, let's take a look at what you can do with the sample oscillator because the, the coolest thing is that you can take samples and do all the synthesis on the samples. So that's really where it gets interesting. So let's take a sound like this. Let's alter the timbre. So it's changing the harmonic character characteristics of the sample in real time. Now let's say I want to modulate that. It'd be nice if you could, you know, put some modulation on that. Well, it's really easy. It's a system called FlexMod. You just right-click the knob and then decide what you want to assign it. So say I want to uh, assign that to velocity, and I've got... Now it's following the velocity that's in the arpeggio. Okay, now let's, I want a little more variation because it gets old to hearing that same, same attack. So let's take and assign that to an LFO. You can see the LFO movement there. Let's add FM. We can add FM to the samples. Totally changing the characteristics. So let's, but I want to have it a little more variation. So I just right click the knob and then put that to randomize. Now I've got. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. You can also do that with remodulation and advanced wave shaping. Uh, but let's go ahead and take, let's put a filter on there. And now I want to modulate the cutoff. All I have to do is modulate with envelope. It selects the envelope for me. Okay, now I want to add a, uh, to the spread, I want to add an LFO. Now watch what happens. It's going to say modulate with LFO. It picked the first open LFO for me automatically and changed the GUI. So you're always looking at the right thing. You don't have to think about where, where something's patched. So you can really, you can do things very quickly. So when I did all that, you see how fast I did that? And that would take so long to set all that stuff up uh, on you know, any sort of advanced synthesizer. So that's one of the coolest things about how fast you can work. It's also amazing, there's so many things, I, I can't talk about all the different things, but I do want to show you one of my favorites, which is uh, the granular synthesis, because you have granular synthesis you can apply to all these sounds. And what is granular synthesis? It's, in a nutshell, it basically chops up the audio in real time into little grains and then spins it around and crossfades all these little grains together. So you get these really neat uh, crossfading types of things. So let's take our same sound, the dry sound. Let's put some granularity on that. Now we're hearing, starting to hear those things spin. Let's add a few more grains. Change the pitch of the grains.
sources before earlier in the demo. Well, I can do that here. Let's try this with a different sound source. Let's apply this to, uh, let's say, Roland Paraphonic 505, which is an old string ensemble, a real obscure sounding string ensemble. We'll try this waveform, see what it sounds like. Check this out. all the sound is. The sample is just a very straight sound. All that stuff's happening in real time and you can modify all that so granularity is really really cool.